when you're being attacked by a uh, person with a weapon, uh, you have to again create this this rhythm that you're uh, that you're you're uh, able to attack on the yin uh, time of their uh, of this of the fight, so that you're able to go in between the downbeats. Downbeats are typically his attacks, his grabs, his stabs. Even if someone's repeatedly stabbing you, that's it's it's still got a rhythm. There's still a a yang and yin, yang and yin aspect to this. Uh, so the first thing I want to show is, uh, here he comes, he's stabbing. He's getting this kind of a rhythm, being able to parry and hit on the on the up. So when, at the moment, he would be stabbing and coming back. Kabam, right there, hitting him on that. And I'm hitting right here at the fold of the bicep, bam, uh, where it goes up into the delt there, boom. Okay, this, I'm keeping clear of my body. So. Uh, you want to practice this two striking method, okay? So you've, you've got parry strike, okay? Strike again, here, here, all right? If I move outside, parry strike, okay? This is an important rhythm to understand. Give me one of those. See? That's what I need to be doing. Here, 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 okay? Show this from the other side. Very blow, okay? Boom. <clears throat> right? We need to get this knife from here. Okay? So it's real important to understand this rhythm. Yep. Carry, strike. Okay, because this, he can continue to try to cut whatever he wants to do. Right? And I'm still going to have control of this. All right. So we're gonna we'll show this from we'll show it from a couple different angles. Okay, here you hit. See, I pulled it back. Hit on that up. Shoot up. Okay, come in, take this arm. Okay, get some get some distance. If he's trying to chase me with this, all right, I need to be able to take his weight down. All right, and control this. See, normally when you uh, get in a situation with a knife attacker, after the attack fails, they're gonna try to pull that blade back so they can retain it. So here we go. See now I'm weakening that arm. All right, he's going to try to hang on to that. All right, and that's what we got to be careful of. He's grabbing for me or whatever. I need to be able to maintain my distance, okay, so he doesn't have any of these shots on me. So here's a, like a, a drill for practicing this. So let's go, let's go this way one time so we can see. Okay, move, hit on at the moment that the up happens. Here, hit, grab a hold of this. He goes to grab me or whatever, strike again. Man, I'm just, I happen to grab a hold of this, but there's a million things you can do. There's no one way to practice this. You know, if you just want to practice this uh, softly with your students, then yeah, then uh, he's cutting. Okay, here, hit on the up. And then they're kind of missing out. So let's, let's try it Move this way. Yeah, we're not practicing. Yeah. Okay, here as he's coming back, I get to strike in. Okay, and I'm just sort of got this in check. He does, I do that, he misses me. He's going to try to cut again, but then I've damaged that arm. Boom, it, it's going to freeze that up. And if I were to just do this with one hand, he has a hard time cutting me with that second. Okay, it's, it's, the, it's the when I'm attacking him. Okay, boom, right here. See, he's having a hard time with that. Put this in check, guard yourself, okay? Make your guard here. Give yourself some distance, kick, whatever you need to do. Keep this knife in check. Okay, you know, there's fancy martial arts moves and uh, pretty uh, cool looking stuff to do, but I believe in practicality and you working on it. It's being practical. Here, nail that kill show in the arm here. Elbow. Okay? You get to a better spot. All right, from here, I mean, you chase me only once, but I got it. Okay, that's what you need to be aware of. You know, uh, nice people tend to freak out. They tend to also be try to be very sneaky when they're attacking you. Here he comes. He's sneaking on here. Get him on that up. Okay, yeah, and I'm creating this distance so he doesn't have. You know, uh, same thing. Let's see, I create this guard. All right, yeah, this keeps him from being able to get to me up here. So I come out of guard, get a strike in. Right? Start learning to control this guy. Okay, and see how I didn't stay locked up with him. 
Too many times people do techniques and they get stuck in their technique. So uh, they'll practice, you know, moving all pretty and all, and then coming in here and getting a takedown. But see, I did a technique, but I'm not being conscious, so I got cut here. So it's not about doing your techniques pretty. It's about the win and how you're protected. See what I did there? He, he came, he's coming out to me, I attacked his arm as this was coming out of me. Okay? Pow! Now I do have control of this. I just need distance, and I can take him where I want him to go. Okay? It's different than just freaking out. Yeah, that's what's going to happen with a knife guy. Get it back towards his face. Okay? And uh, again, I'm in close, but I want to make distance, and that lets me control what direction he's going. Next one. Here, Perry, get a blow in. Something vital. His fingers, his arm, his, uh, how do they point a jaw here? Bam! You know, this, if I'm just right, he's got a cut. If I crowd him, it makes it difficult. And then I've got these kind of blows in here, keeping all that kind of stuff in check, or reaching in and grabbing in chokes, getting a hold of his fingers. You know, anything to stop this. Go ahead and free your left arm. It's very hard. <laughs> okay, I got him just by the thumb and his collar. You know, and if he wants to struggle all he wants, I, I, yeah, I got to hold up. See, while he's struggling like that, here he goes, he starts to struggle. That's where you go in and you do the damage. Okay, bam. I don't know if you guys can saw that, but kind of get the knee in there. So again, back to our drill. Parry. Get a strike, sorry. Get a strike on that upbeat. Learn to soften the... Uh, the knife tap. We showed this same kind of thing with the elbows, but uh, I really want you to be conscious of it with your hands. Make some distance. He pulls that back. Strike. Okay? Being aware of that stuff. See, and he's guarding himself. He's smart about this. Okay, and uh, you know, maintaining distance, okay? Cut, get a blow. Okay? He pulls it back out. He cuts again. Here, get a blow. So practice this. He goes across me. Parry, get a strike. Parry. Okay? It's important to understand this. You know, you are going to be afraid in a knife fight. And you want to create an odd angle as well. I mean, I'm doing this stand pretty much straight up. You see how now I create this odd angle to him. All right? You see how I'm doing that? See how I'm in here, stretching this and pulling that one? You know, you, you're going to create what he does. If I pull this, he's going to resist it and try to go in the other direction. And that's what I want him to do. I want him to, to, to go with that, uh, go with my force. Here, see, he's pulling that back in. Cut him, you know, roll it over. Let it roll all the way over. Step in, snap, right? And take him at these odd angles. Again, we, you know, we're talking about fists versus uh, elbows. I much more prefer elbows to, to doing things. Here he comes, he's stabbing. Get in here. Use my elbow. See, my elbow lets me back him up. And I'm just trapping this. Okay? Boom. Kick. And keep his other hand in check. And keep the weapon pointed back at him. Real important. Okay? I'm just going to uh, we'll play with some examples of this. My guard comes up. Let him stab here. A blow. So this is your thinking now. Parry, strike. Or parry, attack. Get towards the face. Okay? Learn to create distance with this stuff. So you're not uh, you're not at his perfect distance. Okay? See? There goes to punch me. Okay? I have to be able to keep myself in check. One more time. Whoa, there we go. See, now it's in check. You know, he has to pull that out to punch. And when he does, I move down. Yeah, see? At least I am in check here. 